turn up to this one it's a worcester bosch 30 si it needs a new auto air vent or an aav as they're called so the first thing i'm going to do is whip the case off and get the panel down you can see in there it's like a mini volcano has erupted definitely needs changing so i'm going to flick the power off i'm going to isolate the flow and return underneath remember use a spanner not a flathead screwdriver screenshot the part number if you want but that's what you get in the pack i'm going to use my regan drain down hose i'm going to put that on and open it up so to allow it to drain from both circuits of the boiler, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the diverter valve motor out, get rid of the little hat, and then just use your finger to ping it out, and then move the paddle up and down. And then once you've done that, open the air bleed at the top of the heat exchanger. That lets the air in and pushes the water out. Then you're going to find the biggest can of WD-40 you can, and you're just going to cover that auto air vent in that. It's just going to make your life easier pulling it out in a minute. So nominate a thick flathead screwdriver and you're just going to pop it in between the two like that and you're just going to turn it and twist it and eventually it'll pop out. Just like that. And then you're going to have to stick your fingers in there to try and pull it out. It can be a little bit awkward because it is quite tight. I mean, look at the state of that to be fair in the bin then you're going to want to get some wet wipes of some description and you're just going to clean that hole out at this point i take the hose off and shut the drain off just to get that out of the way and pop the diverter valve motor back in and then you're going to get plenty of lube you have to put the o-ring on yourself but get that all lubed up plenty of lube on just makes your life easier and then put plenty of lube in that hole as well. And then you wanna put that air vent back in in the same angle that you got it out, so slightly to the right, and it's gonna push down completely flat and then it's gonna quarter turn back to you. So in effect, the reverse of what you did. But because you've put plenty of lube on it, you can just use your fingers to twist it back round because you need to be putting pressure on the top, pushing down and twisting it into place. It can be a bit tricky to be fair but this one went quite well, and that's that one in like that. So I'm gonna shut the air bleed off at the top, then I'm gonna open the flow and returns underneath, and then I'm gonna to top the pressure up. And this is where we're gonna check for any leaks. I sped this bit up because there's no point wasting time. Once it's at the pressure that you want, about one, one and a half, we're going to turn the filling loop off and we're going to turn the power back on. We're going to let it go for its ignition sequence. Green light means go. Carry out your 26 nines, put the case back on. That's another one done. Happy day.